Hello and welcome to this millennial review where today we're checking out a carbon monoxide detector from Toptis. This is a CT300 carbon monoxide tester, has a whole bunch of features, so it calls, uh, comes in orange or green, we've got the orange one here, and maybe the most important thing is, is it's pretty affordable, well under $50 and sometimes even into the 30s, depending on what coupon they might have with it. I should mention, I will have this link down in the description below with an affiliate link as they have sent this over to me. So if you enjoy checking it out, consider using that link should you want one yourself. Well, first off, uh, I'll go ahead and mention, pretty cool that it comes with name brand batteries. That is a rare thing in today's world. But what we have here is a carbon monoxide tester or more specifically, it's going to test for contaminants within the air to help you get uh, a good reading on whether or not, say, your furnace is safe, or uh, if you've placed a fire in your fireplace, if that's putting too much carbon monoxide into the air. Really pretty useful device to be able to ensure that your home, your workplace, wherever you might be, is safe. Now, outside is fairly rugged with some strong batteries there. It does have a cover for the device that's going to be picking up uh, the sniffer, let's call it, up at the top. And then the backside is a battery compartment operated by a Phillips head screw to get these three Duracell batteries in. Interestingly, no Phillips head screwdriver comes with it to be able to put the batteries in. But if you have the presence of mind to be able to track your CO2 within your house or workplace, my guess is it's not a problem because you're going to have a Phillips head screwdriver yourself. Well, let's go ahead, pop these batteries out of the package, get them installed. And we're gonna test this device out uh, in a few different places, but mainly we'll go ahead and take it down to my furnace, get the furnace running and make sure that the basement is staying safe even while the furnace is humming a lot. So we'll get those batteries installed. We've got our Phillips head screwdriver to screw back into place. This included top to uh, soft case or soft sided case. It's somewhere between a hard case and a soft case. Does seem to feel and function pretty well. So let's go ahead and turn this bad Larry on. And so as it sits right now, it's reading right at zero parts per million, you'll see it switch over to maybe one parts per million as we talk, because ultimately I am talking and outputting some uh, CO2. But if we take a look at the pamphlet, you're going to notice a couple of things. A uh, concentration of 35 parts per million would mean that in about six to eight hours of constant exposure, you'd get a headache. Over 35, it's now maximum exposure for eight hours. And as we go through, you'll see when the concentration gets worse. The neat thing with this device is we are going to be able to use this real time. And then you can also set uh, different levels. So right now at 50 parts per million, that's going to set off. At 500, that's going to be your safety level two. And you can adjust those as you want. So if I wanted to say set this, I can and I can move that up or down with these two buttons to a safety level that I want. But in this case, if we're taking a look at our device, anything over 35 is going to be a concern. So let me go ahead and move that down. We'll get an alert, an audible alert, as well as a visual alert if that happens. And we'll have it set. Our second level of safety, 500 sounds about right because we wouldn't want to stay in the room if that was the case. Now, I'll save those. If I go over here, we press and hold the APO. That's going to auto turn on and off the device based on its reading. So if you wanted to be able to leave this, say, in your tent where you might be cooking inside, you could leave that there. It's going to auto power on and off. Uh, to be able to conserve some battery and indicate to you once you've crossed over that threshold we've already turned on. And we can go ahead and set our zero point. 
It's going to clear right there. Take a good sniff of the air and see what kind of condition we're in. We do have our hold to be able to hold the top parts per million that we see. And that's about how this device works. Well, anyways, now let's go ahead and give a good blow on it so that way it'll give a, a read because, of course, your breath is going to have some uh, CO2 in it. So let's give it a shot. Should take it a moment to analyze. And look at that. We've moved it up high as 7, back down to 1, and now to 0 because we're in a well-ventilated indoor space. Next up, let me take this down to my furnace and I'll show you if we've got any CO2 to be worried about around that. All right, so I've just called for some heat out of my furnace here and it's time to see how this TopTIS uh, device works, measuring the CO2 that may or may not be coming out of my furnace. So let's give it a second to start spooling up and we'll see just what we have to sniff out of this little small hole within the furnace. All right, and you can hear it start to kick on. See if we've got any CO2 that's going to be huffing out of the furnace. Okay, some parts per million getting out. Okay, and you see it's gone orange. That's because we hit our first level, which was 35. But now that the flu is going, yeah, look at that. Just how it should work. Of course, it's once your furnace turns on, it needs to get that uh, flu going up into the chimney and out of the way. And once it does, well, there's really no concern for your family. But if you are having an issue, Having a device like this to be able to test it out and get early warning of whether or not there was an issue at hand is a really great feature to have on hand. So if this is interesting to you, go ahead and let me know that down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this device. And for sub $50, it is pretty incredible and a great device to be able to hold on to to help keep your family safe and make sure things are testing out properly.